so when that moves up and down, it drives the seats to rotate. When I was really young, I got a Kinex model roller coasters. Then after that, just in my free time, I started just trying to design um, a roller coaster train from scratch. There's a magnetic field just in that air. We would go to parks um, as a family. My older brother and my dad loved riding roller coasters. At that time, I would not ride roller coasters. I loved roller coasters as an idea. I loved watching them. I had a little camcorder. I would record them as they went through the layout. But I, I didn't want to ride them. That was, I, it was uncomfortable. My brother forced me to get on a roller coaster. And then from then on, it's just been um, crazy. Just riding everything I can possibly get, <laughs> get to. The track and the train are the Connects model, the same Scream and Servant model from when I was a kid. I spent six months in Baltimore um, working as an engineer, helping with their various different projects, um, and actually you know, being an engineer on this team, working on roller coasters directly. Uh, so I got to work on a roller coaster every morning. So being able to be there when we opened it for guests and see the first train of guests going around on that coaster and just loving it is an incredible feeling. So amazingly rewarding that I'm hooked. I'm <laughs> <laughs> the most recent project is this. Dave Crawford, who is a uh, ride mechanical engineer with Disney Imagineering. He mentioned that, oh, I don't take business cards unless they're 3D printed. He sort of mentioned that offhand. In the back of my head, I was like, challenge accepted. <laughs> You're on. So each part just folds up, only at the places where I expect it to fold. Eventually came up with a version that it's the dimensions of a card, it's fairly slim, and it folds up into an entire full circuit model of a roller coaster. My goal is um, to enter into this industry as an engineer um, and work with these companies to design better rides and, and new concepts and um, bring something new to the industry that we haven't seen.